Students regularly shuffle in and out of the University of Iowa's John Papa John Business Building. But this summer, a whole new crew of kids learned the ropes. <laughs> The Jacobson Institute for Youth Entrepreneurship, Hills Bank and Trust, and the Richard O. Jacobson Foundation sponsored the 12th annual University of Iowa Entrepreneurship Camps in July. Over 85 future business leaders attended the camps. The young entrepreneur spent a week at the Tippy College of Business learning the nuts and bolts of what it's like to start a business of their very own. I want to own a dance studio. I'm hoping to do something with pets, like maybe a pet store or like a zoo or something. I want to own a business, but I'm not really sure what kind I want. I just want to own a business. A Rice Krispie business. One young entrepreneur came to camp to learn how to take the business he already had started to the next level. I bought this like Glaricin soap and uh, you melt it in the microwave. And then you stir in color and the fragrance that you want. Daniel MacLab of Iowa City began making his soaps a few weeks ago, and he is using his time at camp to iron out his business's details. All around my neighborhood, and we're going to open up a website, and I might go to the farmer's market and sell after I get a license. At camp, every student was a part of a group that developed a future business plan mapping out everything from what they would need to start the business to how much profit they could potentially make. How many was that? When deciding which business to start, the Jacobson Institute Director and Lead Camp Instructor Don Bolas encouraged the students to look at the skills that they already had developed. We don't designate between a product or a service. We just try to hone in on what is a student interested in? What are they talented at? And then find a business opportunity, something they could focus on. The camp runs three different weeks throughout the summer. The first week is on campus for students who have completed grades fourth through sixth. The second week is also on campus, but for students who have completed grades seven through nine. The third week is held off campus for seventh through ninth graders who live in the Des Moines area. During all three weeks of this summer camp, you'll find students getting down to business while having a lot of fun. I really, 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 really like it. It's also really fun, even though it's sort of like school. It's really fun. One of Iowa City's own entrepreneurs joined in on the activities to encourage students and give them a picture of what life in the business world is really like. And I see them at this age coming up with actual businesses. And it, it's so exciting. Paul Hine, the owner of Hines Ice Cream, took a break from his busy schedule to tell students what it was like for him to start his own business. But that wasn't all. The students were challenged to come up with their very own flavor of ice cream. The flavor of choice? Psychedelic S'more, a flavor developed by Diana Wu, Corey Slocum, Awina Challenger, and Molly Cohn. It's a white chocolate base with um, fudge swirl, graham cracker swirl, and fudge in it. So what advice would an experienced entrepreneur give those who are just starting out in the business? Keep dreaming. I mean, that's, once you lose that and you think that, that that's no longer available, I think you, you lost something. I mean, yeah, just keep dreaming. I'm Katie Malvahill, University Relations.